Hello everybody and welcome back if you're new here, I'm Adriana and today I wanted to talk about things I wish I knew before I became addicted to plants. Because I'm addicted to plants, I admit it. Before we get into that though, let's talk about the drink of choice. Bourbon. My husband and I love bourbon. This is Clark and Sheffield bourbon which is available at Binnie's and I believe Binnie's is only available to people in Illinois. So sorry if you're not in Illinois. Where are the kids? What are you doing? This bourbon is a very good price for the quality in my opinion. It's smooth. The only complaint I think I really have about it is I think it's a little too sweet. I'm not really a sweet person. My husband will tell you. I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> I don't like sweet things. Uh, I'm more of a sweet and salty person. So this is a little sweet, but I mean, I'll tolerate it because it is really good. Oh, and I have whiskey stones in there. Because I'm fancy. Although I think I have to get better whiskey stones because this ones don't really work. So I'm kind of disappointed. It is what it is. You can probably hear all of my dogs little tippy taps. Cause he's walking around. Why are you gonna lay down, buddy? Oh, you can you can sit here. You can sit here. Oh, oh, now the other one's coming. Go lay down, guys. So yes, talking about things that I wish I knew before I started my plant addiction. One, starting like hot right out of the gate. I wish I knew what an expensive hobby this could be because it's expensive. Plants are expensive. Um, if you collect more uncommon plants or if you'd like to say rare plants, even if you collect common plants, pothos, hoya, philodendron, like more of what are labeled as common plants, it can still get expensive because I don't know where you guys live but in my area i would say in um a pretty common plant costs around uh, average eight dollars at a nursery or a plant shop big box store is probably around three or four dollars depending on what it is but that's still money that you're spending and not only that but you need soil to house your plants or whatever growing medium that you want like a perlite, sphagnum moss, still costs money to do. You should, in my opinion, buy fertilizer because fertilizer helps your plants grow and be happy. Um, then you have the soil add-ins if you want because you can always add in perlite, vermiculite, charcoal, what is it called? Charcoal chunks? Something like that. Orchid bark. That stuff. And then you just have pots. Um, Pots are fun to shop for, in my opinion, but it, it can be expensive. Like, don't, don't even ask me how many plants, like, when I first started and I first started getting into plants, it was like, I bought so many succulents and cacti because that's what I started with. And then when I got into house plants, it's like one to a hundred. It's a little bit, a little bit of an exaggeration there. But it's, it's so fast, it's so fast, and yeah, it's expensive. So I wish I had known that. All right, number two, use cash pot. So when I first started, I, I don't know about you guys, but I was just under the impression that I had to plant all of my plants in the pot that they were going in. And that's just not true. I love using a cash pot or a cash po or whatever people call it like so many people call it different names but take this this Hoya for example I love my Hoya poop tags anyway this is in a nursery pot and then it sits in a cash pot and you know everybody's all about drainage with your plants nursery pots have the drainage and you can put your plant in any pot that you want your pot your outer pot the cash pot doesn't have to have drainage holes and what i like even more is that i can like i can mix and match so i'm always switching up what plants are in what pot oh because 
that's just who I am. I just like doing that. I don't know why. Maybe some people don't do that, but I do that. I think it's fun. Next, I wish I knew that you can mix your soil yourself. I personally find it very fun to do. I love the smell of soil. I love the way it feels in my hands. What I don't love is a mess. But that's about it. If soil wasn't messy, it'd be perfect. It'd be 100% perfect. But when I started out, I just bought miracle Grow soil and that's what I planted all my pots in. No, that's what I planted all my plants in. I can't speak. And that's fine if you want to do that, but I think it's so, I think it's like a little science experiment. I think it's so fun starting out with a base soil, miracle Grow. Um, I'm really liking Happy Frog right now. And then adding mosquito bits because mosquito bits help with fungus gnats. Adding um, some horticultural charcoal, which I think what I was trying to say before and couldn't. Adding orchid bark or perlite or any other add-in. I think it's just fun. It's a fun experiment to do with you and your plants because, I mean, you can really, um, what's, what word do I want to use? You can really alter your soil mixture to fit yourself. If you are an overwater, you can totally make your soil mixture very, very well draining so that your plants don't get root rot because you like to overwater. If you're an underwater, maybe you can create a soil that retains a little bit more so that your plants don't die of thirst. Like that's all stuff that I find very interesting and I think that's fun. So I wish I had known that because I'm just recently starting to mix up my own soil. And I'm really enjoying it. Oh. Kind of burned my eyes. Whew. What number I ran? I don't know. So I'm just going to say the next thing I wish I had known is that you can drill your own holes in pots. All you need is a diamond drill bit. That's all you need. And it's super, super easy. And if you're a person that doesn't want to utilize the cash pot, you don't want to plant your pot. Why do I keep saying that? You don't want to plant your plant in a nursery pot and then put it in a cash pot. You can plant your plant in any pot that you want, but the problem is the plant community loves drainage holes because yes, they're very helpful. They are. Um, but not all pots come with a drainage hole, which is very frustrating. But with a diamond drill bit, you can make any pot have a drainage hole. It is awesome. And I have done that a lot. I have done that like I just go to thrift stores and I get teapots and I'll drill a hole in it and all of a sudden it houses a little succulent and it's super adorable. I love it. Next, pest prevention. I really didn't know about this when I started, but pest prevention is so important, I think. I think it is because pests suck. I just had my Hoya, it's right in front of me, so I'm looking at it. My Hoya um, Hindu rogue got mealybugs for the third time. Like I am dunking that plant in alcohol and those mealybugs still come back. I change the soil. Like I don't, I continue to treat it and I'm not gonna give up on it, but the point is pests suck. So if you can help prevent pests, why not? It can be a little bit time consuming, but um, mealybugs suck. Knock on some wood. I have never had spider mites. I have had aphids. I think I said that word. Aphids. I've had those. Gross. They suck. Fungus gnats. They suck. So anything that you can do to prevent those pests from infecting your plants, it's just I got wetness on my hand and I don't know how I got it. Weird. Um, but if you, if you can prevent getting any pests, like I just, I think it's time well spent. Even if you take your plant over to your sink and with the sprayer nozzle, you just like make it rain on your plant. That's still a little bit of pre pest prevention because you're kind of like draining and flushing your plant if you're cleansing it because when a plant is in your house it doesn't get that natural rainwater on it and when it rains that's like how essentially a plant gets cleaned so 
even doing that helps. Personally, I am using mosquito bits. I'm starting to mix that in my soil because mosquito bits, when they get wet, they release something or something and it helps kill the larva of the fungus now. I do the rain method and I am starting to treat um, in, what am I treating? Right before winter and then right after winter, so that'd be spring, <laughs> the growing season. I am treating my plants with like a neem oil mixture, especially since most seasons I take my plants outside. I didn't this season, which kind of sucks because I had like with the times I had a lot of time on my hands, but for some reason I was just really lazy and didn't do it. But I'm still going to treat a lot of my plants with like a neem oil mixture just to help because pests are no fun. They're not. They're not. I don't want this to carry on for too long. So the last thing I want to talk about, about things that I wish I knew before I started my plant obsession, is that how much, how time consuming it can be. The time and maintenance that you spend on five plants is not going to be the same as the time and maintenance you would spend on 50 plants. And I mean, I just did a video of myself purging some plants, of getting rid of some plants because I just found that my plant count was too high. Um, I was having trouble keeping up with all my plants and caring through them all and some ended up being neglected and dying of thirst. And you don't want that. So, I mean, I would just say to my past self, you know, enjoy the plants that you have. Um, don't be too quick to buy a bunch, a bunch of plants because it's, like I said, like I said, very addicting. And really get to know the, the plants that you have because all of your plants have personalities, they do. And just think about it, every time that you bring in a new plant, you're adding to your list. And yeah, I really, I really just had to downsize because I wasn't able to enjoy all the rest of the stuff that I like to do, which reading, baking, just laying on the couch and watching a movie because I wasn't really able to do that because instead of just laying on the couch and watching a movie, I was watching a movie and watering my plants. Food for thought. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. I'm just joking. But no, really, thanks for being here. Thanks for joining me today. I hope what I have learned may help you. Or maybe someone you know. I don't know. I hope it helped. I have a man. Look how pretty this plant is. It's gorgeous. Okay. Uh, cheers. Good night. I'm really scared the whiskey stones are gonna like fall on my face.